Canola oil, awful. Why, why is that awful? Because those are seed oils. And the way that they're processed is they take that oil from the seed, they heat it over 450 degrees, which makes it rancid. And then they actually have to bleach it uh -huh. to make it clear. And then they have to put a deodorizer in it to kill the smell because it's a rancid oil. I'm, eat, I'm eating the deodorizer. You're, 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 you're putting basically toxic rancid um, oil into your body when you eat those. Seed oil is one of the worst things for you. Why seed oil is one of the worst things for you. It is. That's the title. Of that. Vegetable, saf safflower, worse, canola. Worse than the enriched? Um, just as bad. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's an oxidant. Like, uh, it's a free radical. How, how do you know all this stuff, Gary? It's, I'm a human biologist. So, well, What does it mean that you're a human biologist? So my undergraduate degree was in biology. My postgraduate degrees are in human biology, meaning I studied just the biology of human beings, uh -huh. human physiology, human anatomy, human neurochemistry. And then for 20 years, I was a mortality expert for the insurance industry. And during that time, I, I read voluminous amounts of medical records. And we would take these medical records and we would determine how long people had to live to the month. And when I say that, people are like, "That's there's no way that you can predict death to the month. If you don't think that predicting death to the month is an industry, then you don't believe in annuities, life insurance, reverse mortgages,